the war victim. And just a note that we hear all around the world on this special weekend for Christians everywhere that we often hear that Jesus died for our sins. Here we are remembering today that Jesus dies because of our sins. Thank you. Not that That's we right. might feel warm in our guilt, but we might be set aflame by our responsibility. Liberated, free to respond. Our crucified victim number one is a rock war victim. For 26 years, the U.S. has waged an unrelenting war against Iraq, which today includes the destruction of Mosul. We pray for the over 2 million Iraqis who have died since 1991 as a result of U.S. U.N.-led sanctions, bombings, invasion, and occupation. We pray for the countless millions injured and the over 4 million displaced. We rep repent for destroying an entire society. For example, it's 40 times more likely for a person to have cancer now thanks to the depleted uranium we poured all over Iraq in the last 20 years. 1,600 out of 100,000 people, 40 times more. And 40% of those new cancer cases are children under the age of five. So we pray for the countless millions injured and the over four million displaced. We repent for destroying an entire society, traumatizing a generation of Iraqis and setting into motion a spiral of violence and political upheaval, which in part created the condition for the rise of the Islamic State. We call for all CIA and U.S. military personnel and security contractors to leave Iraq immediately and that the U.S. beg forgiveness, beg forgiveness from and make reparations to all Iraqi people.